Hello everyone and welcome to Jill's Fine Coffee Home Barista Edition. In today's video we'll be showing you how to make cold brew at home and for that we'll be using our Mount Shuxon blend. It's a medium roast and it goes really well either as a pour over or as a cold brew. And to make it we'll be using this KitchenAid cold brew maker. It has a basket inside which is where our ground coffee beans are going to go. If you don't have anything like this you can just use a glass jar and then you'll strain out the coffee beans after it's been sitting for about 24 hours or so. And I'm going to do more of a cold brew concentrate so I'm going to do a 1 to 4 ratio. If you want a cold brew that's ready to drink feel free to do a 1 to 8 ratio. So that means 1 part coffee, 8 parts water. And you can see this is more of a light to medium roast bean and it's going to extract so much flavor and be really good as a cold brew. So once I measured out my one cup of coffee beans, I'm going to pour it into my hopper. I'm using a Baratza Encore grinder. Um, whatever grinder you're using, just make sure you have it really coarse. I have mine set to about 37 or 38 and the highest it goes is 40. So you want it to be really coarse in order for it to extract the most flavor. And I'm going to go ahead and grind my coffee beans. And with the magic of editing, I'm just going to speed up this process a little bit. Alright, now that my beans are ready, I'm going to pour them into the basket. And you can't really tell, but my beans are really coarse. I want to put an emphasis on that because it's important that your beans are going to be really coarse when you're making cold brew. And again, since I'm doing more of a cold brew concentrate, I'm doing a 1 to 4 ratio. So I'm adding my 4 cups of water over my 1 cup of ground coffee beans. And a little pro tip, add some blackberries to your coffee beans. It is so good and perfect as a cold summer drink. And that is basically it. All we're going to do is pop this into the fridge and leave it in there for about 12 to 24 hours. I'd recommend 24 hours because it'll extract all the goodness from the coffee beans. And fast forward 24 hours, our cold brew is now ready. You can see that it's gotten darker in color. And the last thing we have left to do is to take out the ground coffee beans. So I'm just going to strain them for a little bit and then toss them. And then I won't be putting the basket back in. Now it's time to pour yourself a nice cold glass of cold brew. And because it's a light and medium roast bean, I like to just drink it as is. You could of course dilute it with some water. Or in this case, because I'll be making a cold foam to go on top, I'm not going to be diluting it. And to make the cold foam, I'm doing a 1 to 1 ratio. So one part heavy whipping cream, one part milk. Ideally, you want to do non-fat milk. I didn't have any, I only had whole milk, so I'm doing whole milk instead. And I'm doing two tablespoons of each, as well as one tablespoon of my homemade Madagascar vanilla syrup. This is perfect for the cold foam, and it makes it taste like vanilla bean ice cream. And it's my go-to summer drink. It's delicious. So once I have all that in my pitcher, I'm going to take my hand mixer and just whip this up real quick. Um, mine does come out a little thick. Again, that's because I use whole milk. I'd recommend using non-fat milk. If all you have is whole milk as well, just add a little more um, whole milk and a little less heavy cream. And that is it. Our cold foam is ready. You can see the seeds from the vanilla bean in there, which again, it just reminds me of vanilla bean ice cream. And it basically tastes just like it as well. And if that doesn't look delicious, I don't know what does. Hopefully you get to try this drink out. I'm sure it will become your new summer favorite as it is mine and a go-to drink. <music> 